Hey, what's going on? I'm Bone Sickle, and you are looking at Hawken on the PlayStation 4. I'm piloting the Neef, and this is some gameplay of a co op team death match. It's not the greatest gameplay, but I do get 9 kills, 0 deaths, and 13 assists. So hopefully, it's not too bad to watch. The Neef, of course, is the PlayStation Plus exclusive mech currently available on the PlayStation 4 only if you are a PS Plus subscriber and you can see the option to download it in the add-on section of Hawken in the PlayStation Store and then you will have two mechs to choose from immediately from starting the game the other starter mech being the CRT Recruit. The Neef has fantastic stats for its fuel tank as well as its airspeed in fact it has the best fuel tank in the game at the moment and the only other mech that can match its airspeed is the Generation 2 Berserker. No other mech right now has better airspeed or a better fuel tank than the Neef. The Neef's ground speed, boost speed, and dodging stats are pretty mid-range, and considering that it does act as a starter mech, you'd expect it to have some comparatively bad stats, and those would be its armor, its fuel regeneration, its overheating, and of course the fact that it currently shares the worst radar range with the assault mech and the bruiser. In other words, no other mech in the game right now has a worse radar range than the Neef, but that's not such a bad thing. The Neef has a Seeker as its weapon on both sides, and the Seekers are amazing. They have really good accuracy, moderate range, DPS, and heat stats, and a low rate of fire when compared to that of other weapons in the game, but it's not enough to mess you up. The best thing about the Seekers, though, is that, as the name implies, they have a built-in targeting system, which is great if you're just starting the game and haven't really gotten too good at aiming and leading your targets, or even if you are good at those things, it still never hurts to have weapons with built-in tracking abilities. Every mech also has a special ability that you can activate by pressing the X button and then it recharges on a cooldown. The special ability of the Neef is to increase the damage of all your weapons for a few seconds. So make sure you strategically tap that X button when you need some extra boom shakalaka to your shots. As far as items go, you can drop a deployable turret with the square button and if you press the triangle button you'll fire a detonator missile which explodes in a satisfyingly large fireball whenever it makes contact with anything or if you want to you can manually detonate it early by tapping the triangle button again while it is in flight and let it explode midair. Now keep in mind that these two items can only be used once per life so don't forget about them you especially don't want to die without having placed a turret anywhere. As for internals, which are basically like the mech's passive abilities, the Neef comes standard with a basic air compressor that lets you dodge while in mid-air, and a fuel converter that converts a small percentage of the damage you receive into fuel, which is weird considering that the Neef already has the best fuel tank in the game, but I can dig it. Now, as far as I know, on the PC, you can unlock different primary weapons to swap out, and you can change your internals and stuff, but on the console versions of Hawken, those options do not seem to be available, at least at launch. And also, please keep in mind that because Hawken is free to play, it is subject to undergo future changes and updates, so anything that I've said or shown you might change eventually, or may have already changed if you're watching this video a long time after it was posted. Now I'm going to leave you with the final minute of the video commentary free. I do want to say that I hope you enjoy the game as much as I am. Thanks for watching. Mission success.